Actor John Cena has apologized to China after he called Taiwan a country during an interview promoting the newest movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. Uh, and in that interview with a Taiwanese broadcaster, Cena said, Taiwan is the first country that can watch F9. Now, China claims Taiwan as its sovereign territory, uh, despite the two sides uh, being ruled separately since the end of a civil war 70 years ago. Cena offered an apology on social media uh, service Weibo, and he was speaking in Mandarin. He said he did a lot of interviews and made a mistake. Uh, he apologized, said it's a very, very, uh, ve ve three varies, four varies, very, 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 very important that he loves and respects China and the Chinese people. He has many fans, he says, in China, and has been studying uh, Mandarin, Chinese, uh, for years. He often posts videos uh, to his 600,000 followers in which he does speak Mandarin. The new Fast and Furious movie is produced by uh, Universal Pictures, which is owned by our parent company, Comcast. It brought in nearly $136 million in China uh, over the weekend. And, you know, we've seen things with, with the NBA, and I, I kind of understand, and it's, can you separate the Chinese people from the, uh, you know, from the, from the Chinese Communist government? That's, that's the question. And so I can sort of see yeah. what he's saying. He's got his fans are, uh, are Chinese, and, and I guess they would agree with what the PRC uh, dictates in terms of Taiwan. So I, it's, a, it's a fine line to watch. And you got, I mean, it, Twitter. But the fine line is that they're going to. That, that it's a, Twitter exploded. That it's, it, there's that. no free speech. That's the fine line. The um, fine line is you can't, you can't say what you think. If you actually say what you think, you're going to get banned in China. It's bad for business. Would he actually so get banned? He, or would, he, would the, the, he wouldn't have it, uh, the same amount of. You know, I think it would hurt the box office receipts, right? It's not, Either hurt the box they... office, or be, or or you wouldn't see as many. I mean, look, we've seen what's going. You know, we've seen what's happened in China with so many different businesses. I, I you, you think that this was simply done because he was he was worried about the the, the quote unquote box office, the box office because people weren't going to come out to see the films, or because you think that the government was going to actually crack down either on the films themselves or his future films or his ability to go on Weibo and say what he wants to say and how much he, that gets limited. I mean, it, it's, I, I, you know, I, it, he's, a, he's a wrestler, right? I, I didn't think that many wrestlers took Mandarin. Uh, I think it's difficult, and I. I so that I, I was, was going to say, I'm thought. just impressed that he speaks Mandarin. Right, <laughs> that but, was my takeaway too. Why, but maybe the reason he speaks Mandarin is because it is such a large market over there, and he. he it's a big market he, for them. He made it. It was a conscious decision to appeal to his uh, his fans in China, and therefore he doesn't want to ostracize uh, his fans, regardless of whether he gets in trouble with uh, with the government. It's a tough one. Twitter went nuts. I'm surprised you kind of you're, you're kind of with the wackos on this one, Andrew. The ones that are mad at him for doing it. I, I, you, I, you're an enigma. I never know where you're going to be on these things. No, I'm not mad at him mad for doing it. I just think we need to understand why they're doing it. I mean, look. And by wackos, this was I the use same that in a, case. in a nice way. I'm using that. This in a was nice the same way. thing. <laughs> even when LeBron James, even when LeBron James was asked about China, and and he was. And he all of a sudden was standing up for certain things that were against the things that he would normally believe. Right. I mean, there's a lot of people who are having to bend their views because of their interest in wanting to do business in China. And let's just call yeah. a spade a spade. That's what it is. That's nothing new. That's what it is. <laughs> right. And, and, and that's what businesses have been doing for, for decades, doing right. business there. Remember I mean, the, the, the number of NBA fans in China when they actually said it? You know, you got a, a billion people yeah. or so, you can have a lot of fans. And, uh, you know, I, I guess I understand it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.